Welcome to Crestron Avia. The entire Avia DSP line includes recording console grade components and have the very best in audio performance. To complement this great new hardware, we need a powerful new software tool. In this series of videos, we will focus on the Crestron Avia tool, the software utilized for configuration and programming of the Crestron Avia hardware. To get started, please confirm you've downloaded the current version of the Crestron Avia tool. When you first launch the tool, you will see the following choices. New project, open project, or connect device. You will also see any recent virtual projects or devices that you have connected to. The DSP tool will enable me to connect to more than one unit at a time for easy switching between multiple units in a system. This allows me to quickly see what is going on with each DSP I have in the system. There are many options within the Learning Center on the right to help you get started. To start a new project, click on New Project. This will take you to the New Project Setup screen. First, you select either DSP or AMP and choose the desired device from the list. I am selecting the DSP 1281 from the drop down menu and then selecting the right arrow to advance to the next section. Please note that when each item in the list is selected, you are provided with the features and a picture of the device. This is a great way to see the differences between the models. Next, you will be faced with two choices, guided project or blank project. Provide a name for the project and save the desired location. Note that a guided project is not available for amplifiers. For this example, we will start with a blank project. Click the right arrow to proceed to the next section. You are now on the Ready to Create Project screen. Here you can upload to device, save and close, or open in virtual mode. Selecting Save and Close will save the newly created project without opening the project. Open in virtual mode is for setting up a DSP project without having the DSP on hand. You can configure almost any aspect of the DSP, save it to your computer, then load it to the device once it's available. If you have the DSP on the same network as your computer, or connected via the front panel USB console port, you would select Upload to Device. If you are familiar with other Crestron applications such as Toolbox, you will recognize some available connection methods. Click Address Book to use a device address from a previously created Toolbox address book. If the device isn't already in my address book, I can manually enter an address by clicking Address. You will be prompted for the host name or IP address. Click OK once you've entered the relevant information. I can also quickly reconnect to the last device I configured by clicking Last. Finally, Ethernet allows me to use Crestron's auto discovery protocol to find and list any DSPs in my local subnet. I see that in auto discover, I have found a DSP 1281. I can select it by clicking on the entry and then click OK. The software will then set up a blank project and connect to the DSP. We are now ready to program and configure this unit. Before that, let's revisit the guided project. This is a new feature within the Avia tool. When creating a new project, choose Guided Project, name the file, and click the right arrow. A new window that has selections for available inputs and outputs will open. On the right side of the window, you'll see the appropriate inputs and outputs for the DSP model that you've selected. Open the section of the inputs that contains the type of inputs desired for your project. For example, if you open the microphone section, you are presented with a number of manufacturer-specific microphone models. Find either the exact model or the generic microphone type and double-click on the item. The selected microphone will appear in the Included in Project section in the first available input. Note that the name is auto-populated, but is highlighted so you can name it for your project. 
Add any additional inputs and outputs as required for your project. Also note that any of the model-specific inputs and outputs will include appropriate equalization for optimum sound quality of the device. If one of the inputs or outputs has additional configuration necessary, an advanced button will appear in the lower right corner of the window. Follow the prompts to configure the additional settings. When the configuration is complete, press the right arrow at the bottom. An image will be provided, notating what is connected to which port on the device. This can be saved or printed for on-site technicians to use when wiring the system. You are now prompted to upload to the device, save and close, or open in virtual mode. Either uploading or opening in virtual mode will give you the opportunity to make any additional configuration changes to the newly built project. Note that the project will hide any unused inputs, outputs, or buses in the software. Click in the background area anywhere on the signal page to show or hide any items that you desire. For example, if you are adding two additional microphones once you arrive on site to commission the system. Thank you for watching.